and they call it a game. A game. Hello folks and welcome back. My name is Chuckles and today we are continuing nine hours, nine doors, nine persons. Not necessarily in that order. But why? And who? I mean, it really doesn't make sense. I have no idea. Why on earth would I know something like that? What now? Ah! June! Whoa. Ace, Santa, Clover, and Lotus. Yes, everyone's here. What are you guys doing? Why are you... That's my line. Perhaps we should exchange information. Uh, you gonna exchange information or am I just gonna miss out on all of that? And that's what we know. Okay, fair enough. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. What about that big hallway? Maybe there's somewhere in there that we might be able to go. To, I guess. No, there's nothing there. The five of us had a quick look. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. You mean all those doors are for hospital rooms? Yes, there are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. It had one of those solar system box things on it. It was the Jupiter symbol. Jupiter? I wonder what it means. While we're asking what things mean, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. The Gigantic? What is this Gigantic? The Gigantic. She was a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. Actually, the Titanic had two sister ships, and they looked exactly the same. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. They intended to make her a passenger liner like the Titanic, but World War I began soon after the ship launched. The British Navy took her over and made a hospital ship. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so she didn't end up sunk. What happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain bought her. Seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic sinking. That trauma turned him into some kind of obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Soon enough, the guy wanted the Titanic itself. Which was impossible, of course. It sunk at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. But the Gigantic wasn't. And seeing as she was identical... So, you're saying this Lord Gordain bought this ship? I'm sure it's like, Lord Gordain. But fuck you. Fuck you. Just... Fuck you. Fuck the French. Yeah, I said it. Fuck the French. And their language. It's stupid and I hate it and it's dumb. Yeah. At least I think I am. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Pipe down. Just pay attention. What? That's it? Oh, have you got any proof? Proof? It's in the pudding, darling. Proof that this ship is really the gigantic. Well, uh, this ship's got stuff that's like the Titanic and a hospital ship, so I just figured... Oh, for goodness, don't tell me that's your only reason. N no I've got more. Like? Well, uh, I mean... I don't know. I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Yeah, sorry about that. 
The clock is chiming. Ding dong. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Huh, a bell. It sounded like the clock in the main stairway. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. It's midnight. Then we've still got six hours left, right? Let's get going. We gotta find the missing parts for the Reds. What do you mean, find? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room, but we haven't found anything. Right. That only leaves one place to look. One? Uh, well, not just one. W wait don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Well, you already checked some of them out before you came here, right? We each checked a single room, so five rooms in total. All right, then. That's five rooms we don't have to search. Huh? We just have to split up the rest between the eight of us. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. There are... Forty-eight other rims? Uh, maybe. All right, so everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes. We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah, sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. If we can't, then we'll just have to die. All right. Then let's do this. It's one. I better get back to the others. What are they doing over there? What happened, guys? Jumpy, look! Ooh, they turned back on. Vacant? Come on, guys, who was it? I thought we are supposed to yell if we found it. Well... What the hell? What is up with you guys? Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? When I got back, it was already like this. There was no one else here. That means I was the first one back, but the missing parts were already back in the red. What? Let me see. You're right. It's in there. What about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. I don't believe you! You lying whore! It's just as you said. All right, I just want to be sure here. Nobody has any idea what the hell happened here, right? Correct. None. I don't have a fucking clue. Huh? Wait a minute. Ooh, music's... Ooh, music's getting spooky. Where's Snake? Snake! 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 Does that mean that he found them? I've no idea. There's nothing to suggest it, but nothing to suggest he didn't either. I don't suppose we'll know until we can ask him in person. Don't tell me Snake's dead. I like him. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he's pretty damn late. What the hell is he up to? Maybe he's lost. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he got around in the first place. No, that's impossible. Yeah, my brother's blind, but he's got really great hearing. He can get around as well as anyone who can see. So he he couldn't get lost. That's impossible. Uh, I'm gonna go look for him. Hey, hold on, Clover, wait. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. 
What should we do now? Well, the red is working now. No, we're not leaving two people behind. We should go look for them. Aw, oh, man, this ain't good. Oh, yes, what an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some piece of electronic junk. Now let's waste some more time by looking for a couple of idiots. You know, I gotta be on- I gotta be with Santa on this one. Then remain here if you feel you must. But there's no time. We've only five hours left. Yeah. Let's split up- what? Alright, I'll take this direction. I won't specify which one, just this one, trust me. Then I shall look that way. Let's all be very, very non-precise about this. I'll be over here. See you all later. Bye, Batch. Alright, we should go too. Yeah, let's go. But where should we start? Let's see. Uh, I don't fucking know, man. I want to go back to the first class cabin because I might be able to figure out the safe combination. What about the first class cabin on B deck? Okay, let's go, Jumpy. And there's a really nice bed in there. Maybe we can fuck. <laughs> what should Junpei do? Uh, I don't fucking care about Clover. Maybe we should leave her alone. Yes, I think you're right. I mean, sorry, Clover. I'm sure you're fine, but I don't care. We really need to find Snake for Clover's sake. I mean, mostly for my my sake. I mean, he's, he's pretty, pretty... I mean, there's a reason we call him Snake, if you know what I mean. So, where do you think we should go next? But we didn't go in the room, though. I wanted to... What the fuck? Uh, the casino. How about the casino? Let's go take a look. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for Snake. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. I don't think that's the problem. Oh, uh, by the way, I've got a proposal for you to kind of hear it. Sure. What is it? Well, I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. Why don't you just fuck already? Why don't we team up? Team up? With a whore like you? Yeah, what, you need me to explain it to you? I'm saying, why don't we go through a numbered door? Even if we wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Jumpy's bracelet number is 5, mine is 6, and yours is 8. Our digital route would be 1. But there's no number 1 door in the large hospital room. The only doors there are 3, 7, and 8. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? What? Isn't that easy? 7. And he's a big hunking chunk of man, mate. Oh, if we add 7... 5 plus 6 plus 8 plus 7 equals 26. 2 plus 6 is 8. Wait a minute. What about the other four? Ace, Snake, Santa, and Clover. Why don't you add them up? 1, 2, 3, 4 equals 10. And 1 plus 0 equals 1. The digital root for those four would be 1. That's right. And you know the number one door isn't in the big hospital room, right? Of course I know that. No, are, are you saying you'd leave them behind? Of course not. What kind of woman do you think I am? I just bit my tongue. Ow, fuck. Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them, couldn't we? Then we wouldn't really be leaving them behind. Don't try to lie to us. I don't think you'd do anything of the sort. Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left, even if we manage to escape. There's no way we could come back to rescue them in less than five hours. Well, you never know until you try. 
No, no, you're not thinking this through. Even if we brought Seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off the ship. The four of us couldn't open door nine. Ooh. It is hidden, but an exit... Oh no, that was Junpei. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The digital root for the four of us would be eight, so we'd have to add ace to make nine. That's right. Unless we bring ace two, we'll be stuck. Oh. Hmm. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate? Unfortunate? That's all you have to say? Well, let's try and find another way, okay? A way to get out of here with all eight of us. That's impossible. Are you being serious? You do know that only five people at most can go through one of the numbered doors, right? And number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Regardless, at least three people will get left behind. <sighs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. Dun, dun, dun. No, wait just a second. You're skipping over a really big detail. And we'll find out what that big detail was in the next episode. Thanks for watching, folks. I've been Chuckles. Until next time. Bye-bye. I can't speak English today. Not very good for trying to do a English-based show.